Hi. Tonight in Kit Copa Review, we're going to be having a look at the Marvel Legends Classic Iron Man. Uh, let's start with the package here. Very nice artwork on the side here. You've got the figure with an alternate head as well. You've got the leg of the Ironmonger, as this is the Build-A-Figure Ironmonger series. Marvel Legends, Classic Iron Man, Hasbro. So let's take a look at the back of the package. We've got a nice picture of the figure. We've got some great artwork of the figure. We've got a little write-up, Classic Iron Man. Technology unlike anything the world has ever seen. Behold, the unstoppable Iron Man. Over here it says number two, with right leg. We've also got a little picture here of the Ironmonger fully assembled, with corresponding numbers for parts and figures. We've got the Iron Patriot, who I've already reviewed for you. If you haven't seen that, please check it out. Next up, we've got the Heroic Age Iron Man with left leg. Coming fall 2013, we've got the other three figures in the series. I want to say that I love the idea that Marvel Legends is doing an entire line based on Iron Man as well as the Build-A-Figure and I really like that they have broken this series into two. It's great that we're not trying to buy six figures at one time and build this. They've given us a nice break so I thank you Marvel and Hasbro. Enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and open up the classic Iron Man and take a look at this figure. Hang on and I'll be right back. Okay, I've taken the classic Iron Man out of the package. I want to mention that it's really nice too that you don't have to deal with those plastic wrapped wires that wrap and then loop around themselves when taking your figures out. It's a nightmare. So onto the figure itself He's beautifully rendered. I really like the red here. They've got a lot of detail worked into it. And it's just a really great design. Um, let's go ahead and start off with articulation. The classic Iron Man's head can go up and down. We've got a 360 for the shoulders. We've got a 360. Right. We've got a bicep rotation. We've got a double bend at the elbow. We've got a swivel 360 at the wrist, backwards and forwards. We've got a bend at the torso. We've got rotation in the hips. We've got rotation on the thigh, as well as hip ball joints. We've got none in the thigh. We've got a nice double bend at the knee. We've got an ankle 360 rotation and a really nice figure. I believe this is one of the earliest um, armors that Tony Stark wore. The head, I want to mention, does come off, and they've provided us with an alternative head. This head being the first head that was originally on this suit, and then this, this head followed. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off and put on the other head. I want to mention that I wouldn't do this too often, just because I have a fear that this joint right in here will eventually crack from um, taking the head on and off repeatedly. So just twist and push it down. Let's see if we can get it here. Okay. So now the head's on and it looks really great on this figure. 
just a great figure. I want to set him aside for a second. I want to show you the original classic Iron Man as brought to us many years ago by Marvel Legends. I think it was Series 1. I'm not 100% on that. I'll put them side by side and you can see that they are the same design but there's been a lot of changes over the years in how how we design our figures. Now this one is definitely more bulky. Over here we've got the slim down version. I'd like to mention too that this this one his face can come off. And there's Tony. But that's a review for another time. I just wanted to do a little side by side comparison. Okay, I'll put him aside. Um, as I showed you earlier, this figure comes with the right leg of the Ironmonger, which I've already gone ahead and put on. And it looks really nice. I love this blue. And again, once the figure is fully assembled, you get a really nice scale compared to the other Iron Man and how it'll eventually look. I'm really excited about this line. Again, a fantastic idea to do an entire Marvel Legends line featuring just Iron Man, everything Iron Man. Iron Man's always been a um, favorite hero of mine. Uh, it does come with instructions here, which I already kind of went over in the last review, dealing with the Iron Patriot. We've been dealing with the classic Iron Man, and got a little write-up here notable technology while the lighter build would be key to preserving energy that could be routed to Stark's heart the most notable evolution might be this armor's look the first to capture the iconic red and gold Iron Man design a great design so that aside nothing on back and in this line, I already reviewed the Iron Patriot. So stay tuned for part three. That's going to be the Heroic Age Iron Man with the other leg of the Iron Monger. And uh, I thank you for watching. This has been a Kit Couple Review production, and you know the rest. Thank you.